narrative that's being spun around that matches a narrative for his benefit. I am a mother. I would not do that. This man, who's supposed to be a bishop in the Lord's church, called me up and ushered me up to the front. And once I got up there, I began to speak in my heavenly language. And next thing I know, I was being grabbed behind my hair and drug out in the videos that everyone is seeing online. I have a, a long scratch on my neck. There's another narrative going around that um, I purposely went there to start some type of trouble. I'm not on that type of time. And let me just say something else. All of these men that are in my DM um, co-signing this behavior, it makes me wonder your respect and level for women. I'm not on that type of time. I'm not on that type of time. Your respect and level for women. I never in my life had a man put his hands on me until Sunday. Yes, look, come on up, you want to come preach? You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Come on up here. Come on up here. Yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. I'm going to make you famous. Come on up here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the spirit, y'all. Glory to God. Now remove her out of here. Now move her out of here. Move her out of here. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a round of applause, y'all. Hey, yes, Lord. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Now let's give Jesus a round of applause. While they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. 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 Go over here. Go over here. Grab her. Grab her out. Grab her out. Now you can grab grab her out. Charge you Amen. Amen. You're not going to come in my space. I feel threatened. Amen. Amen. Back to the word of God. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder. Apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone honors as well to you brethren you fellow believers of this truth and Shalom to the elect so anyway I saw this video um, with this Eve for the sake of the video and of course a lot I can't say because of the video but I want to speak on it a little bit uh, this Eve that was um, sitting down victimized uh, from what she believed and even news articles said that um, this Eve was choked right and that was no such thing <clears throat> and um, it seems that there's a lot of men that really subscribe to the Queen of Heaven worship right now this pastor obviously he's they call him the bling pastor he's the one that <laughs> That's demon versus demon. He's the one that um, said someone came and robbed. In fact, someone came and robbed the church, and he got down real quick. It was like it was like he knew it was happening. I believe it was set up to get the insurance off. It, it may come out sooner or later. But anyway, uh, this woman said she was in a heavenly language when she came up. And the the preacher was being sarcastic. He never was saying, come up, like, let's hear what you have to say. She was, you know, Eve was running her mouth as she do. I don't know what she was saying in her heavenly language. 
And then you got the guy on the panel who's saying, wow, this is crazy. And, you know, what I notice is Jake is the one who supports the madness of Eve playing the victim. It's always Jake. I see different videos. A, a, a man beats his woman up for, for cheating or whatever. And then she's in the back. The Eve is in the back running her mouth. You ain't going to do nothing to me. You you wish and this or that. And then it happens and everybody's saying, wow. Now, I don't get it because now we have a thing of equality. Everyone's equal. And then all of a sudden, the selective feminism kicks in and then the 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 switch flips and then they're back to being dainty right and effeminate and I've been scratched on, on the side of my face and my hair has been pulled no man has ever did anything like this to me and I'm a woman and what does men think about women and hurting women and I can't understand it because every time I turn around it's told that we're equal you could do whatever we could do we're on the same page. We're on the same wavelength on everything. But I can't understand it because when a woman sits there and beat up a man and scratch a man up and he's all screwed up, his eyeball hanging out, nobody says any damn thing. But the minute it reverses and come and comes back, then it's a problem. So what we see here is Eve is allowed to run, run off at the mouth. This is like a domestic situation. This is what they do in your own home and i tell all the brothers in a situation like that just get the hell out of it because they have a system they have a media as we can see right now this pastor was a wicked he's a wicked pastor there's no doubt but i'm just going on the sake of the argument for this man and woman thing all of a sudden it's 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 woe is me i didn't do anything wrong and she literally came over, she running the mouth, disturbing the whole congregation, the whole church, walked up there and started running off at the mouth. So I guess the Jake just got frustrated. And this is a prime example of feminism and the the, um, the repercussions of it, because eventually when all these things start happening happen to Jake and they don't have any control of it, then the frustration comes out. And anybody should look and see this and say to themselves, no, I wouldn't want to deal with that. If you hear something like that, yelling and bickering and arguing in a whole congregation of the church, why would you want to, you know, be with something, you know, in that situation? Anyway, so Rock 26, 14, I'm going to just read it, you know, this, you know, a chapter, I mean, a scripture. A solid and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth is a mind well instructed, right? So as I saw in the other clip, I didn't put that in there. The, the, the Eve was talking about, you're going to kill me, you do it, and this and that, and just talking, and after messing around with somebody else, it's like, and then a, a man gets on there and say, I'm a father of 60. <laughs> he says, I'm a father of 60. Uh, you, know, you know, it's because... He don't have, she don't have a father and a brother to protect her. And this is what I mean by these old Jakes. A lot of you old Jakes, you're behind the destruction or, or supporting or forwarding the queen of heaven spirit, man. A lot of you old Jakes, you won't step up and say, hey, Eve is going off. Our daughters and our sisters, they're going off. They're out of control. They're, they're with men and, and then people on there saying, well, brother, just leave. You know what? Don't get into it. Here you go. Let me tell you one damn thing. I'm 63 years old father of a daughter and son. When a young man knows that you don't have a daddy, uncle, or man to stand in front of you, he knows he could do whatever. That is, in 2022, Jake will shoot you, your uncle, and everybody else. The main thing you're supposed to do is make sure that your daughter is under some form of control. <clears throat> That's the main thing. Because then what they do is when they get in trouble, they're going to call their fathers and their uncles and brothers. So imagine a, 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 a being, a person who could create havoc, who can lash out at you, can hit you and punch you. And if you do anything back, 
to restrain and say, hey, I'm not advocating punching women or hurting women, but I'm just saying if you have to restrain them and hold them and, and push them back or whatever, I'm calling my uncle. I'm calling my fathers. Then the super simps, they're going to go to the closet and they're going to get capes and they're going to come out and they're going to start fighting and shooting. That's why we tell brothers of the truth, it's best to leave these eaves alone, man. <clears throat> right? They're out of control. Um, let me go on. Uh, a shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace and uh, uh, and her continent mind cannot uh, be valued. As the sun, when it arises in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. I mean, you could read this whole thing, but uh, it, it makes to the point, this whole chapter, you know, it makes the point at least most of this. These jakes, you get into these relationships, so-called, and thinking you got something good, when obviously your glory is your woman, so you're going to love her more than she would love you. So in fact, because of, for the sake of the video, you're the, the dominant one. Let me say that. You're the one that do what you do. So what they do is they keep you on the side and then meet another man, and if it works out with him, she going to keep being with him until things go wrong with you and they could throw you off a side. And it's because this man I just pulled up in his comment who says they do this because you got the father. See, nobody's saying that, wait a minute. Why is these situations even happening? And I'm not condoning the Jake, but nobody's saying and nobody's holding them accountable for the behavior that's going on, man. Right? But we do. And people hate us for it. We say, this place is out of order. Right? And it's best, these are examples, not to get in a situation with these eaves. That's why I'm doing this video. Because you have this man sitting up here saying, I'm 63. Right? Yes, you're 63 and don't know nothing, man. You have foolish wisdom, so to speak. You're 63, and it's because of that you're the type of guy that allow your daughters to do whatever they want to do, but then when they lash out and then the repercussions comes back, then you want to blame everybody for it. And they're doing that with their sons. Same thing. And, they, you know, I, I used to hear uh, in the schools, the little child act a damn fool, and all the parents coming up there blaming the school. <laughs> blaming the teacher when it's your damn child and it's because these people don't discipline their children they don't they don't read the scriptures right let me let me get a another scripture and i'll close it out and just get to the point this is um proverbs 22 and 6 train up a child in the way that he should go or she and he when he is old he will not depart from it Right? So you're supposed to train them up. And Titus tells you, um, I believe the second chapter or third chapter, says the aged woman teach the young woman to be sober. So everything is out of course. Everybody, everything is out of order. And then when these people uh, uh, act a damn fool, now when the young men go shoot up everything, they're just crazed animals. But when the Eves do these wicked things, it's always some immoral uh, aspect in place of why it happened. It shouldn't have happened. These men are crazy. She chose that man, you know? You know, these, these, uh, this is what it is, man. Everything is out of course, you know? Every, everything is out of order. So, you know, you gotta, if you ain't following the scriptures, then hey, you're gonna, hey, you're gonna follow, fall into that, that example. But this Eve, is the one that's supposed to be more than likely have a little one that is being trained up. I wonder how that's working. That's all I have on that Shalom.